Hello traders, FS Pocolati here. Today is Thursday, April 11th, and I'm going to be analyzing the US dollar Canadian starting on the monthly, working my way down to the one hour time frame for the full top down analysis. So on the US dollar Canadian, I'm still looking at this move down as a wave A most likely, and I still think this move up is most likely a B. Could be a 1-2, but probably more likely an AB. And I still think this is a 1-2, and I think it's going to eventually keep on going down for a 3, 4, and 5 of wave C most likely likely. Heading down to the weekly time frame, I mean, we definitely had a very strong push up yesterday, but it doesn't really change anything for me. I still think it looks like a 1. I still think it looks like a 2. We're kind of right in between two FIB levels right now, but I still wouldn't be surprised if eventually this did go down and make a wave 3 of what I think is going to be a wave C. So taking it right down to the daily time frame, like I said, to me, this still looks like nice five ways down, on the, especially on the daily and weekly for one. This still looks like a very, very overlapping pattern, like a wave two. We're right in between two FIB levels now, so it may be more likely that it goes up to the 78% before we really do get a real turn. But there is a lot of support at this level if you actually look left, so there's always a possibility that it does turn down now. I think, personally, we probably should be looking for longs on sort of time frames, but if we do get some evidence that this is the end of a trend we should probably actually start looking for sorts because it is always possible that it keeps going down going to the four hour time frame i mean definitely in an uptrend there's definitely no reason to believe otherwise we have no lower highs we have no break of struts to the downside we really have no reason at all to do anything except for look for longs on sort of time frames taking it down to the one hour time frame i mean we may have like a wave five entry going on right here but for me especially a one hour time frame wave five is not really a tradable move for me. I would have to see a break of sorts to the downside, then I would have to throw my Fibonacci retracement on there and patiently wait for a three-way pullback if I was going to go long for the continuation of this uptrend. Now, if we do get a nice clear break of sorts, I would probably go sort at the end of this wave B or wave 2. I would always label this as an A or 1. I would label this as a B or a 2. And I would try to get sort because there's always a chance that it turns into a wave 3 and just keeps on trending down. But once we get that break of structure, throw your Fibonacci retracement on there and then learn and earn at the same time whether it's an A, B, C or it's a 1, 2, 3. So don't forget to join my free Discord channel, link down here in the corner, and don't forget to check out my membership program that gives you access to the daily live trading sessions and the swing trade setups at my website, fxpepcolata.com. As always, thank you and happy trading.